Hello teacups, what's brewing? So, some things have happened since last we met. <laughs> Chantelle's been a busy old girl this week. Um, she's gone live a lot. She said some things, some things have happened. This video is reacting to her Sensi video, uh, which was mostly ranting about Charlie Gold. There was a lot of Sensi in the parts that I saw. Um, I'm only reacting to the first probably 20 minutes or so of this. Uh, she says most of what she wants to say on the current situation in there. And then I sped it up and I, I clicked through. And most of the stuff she says after that kind of just reiterates what she's been saying. And I, I didn't see the need to react to the whole hour, you guys. It, it is a lot. She said a couple of things right near the end that I might get into, but we're not reacting to the whole video today. Now, usually when she goes off at reaction channels in general, but mostly her ire turns towards Charlie Gold and Yabba. Those are the two people she hates the most. Um, I tend to leave it. Simply because it's really easy to become embroiled in drama when you're reacting, when you're part of the reaction community. And mostly I just kind of like to stay in my lane. You know, um, I, I don't tend to bother with it. So I, I don't want to stand here and say, no, I'm a stand for Charlie or no, I, I really hate Charlie or make any other extreme point in that way because the fact is I've seen maybe three of her videos in my life and um, I know the history she has with Chantel. I might not know every detail, but I know the major highlights. If you could call them that, I know that uh, they're both pretty awful to each other and I just mostly don't want to get into it. But Chantelle has been going on. Jesus Christ. I'm going to put a picture in somewhere of my notification list in regard to Chantelle's videos. Like, I woke up this morning and some things had happened. <laughs> like, what was this? And the, um, the car rant that we will briefly mention in here that she went on and then deleted uh, with some quite threatening behavior. We'll get, we'll get into that in a minute. And um, mostly my issue when it comes to the way Chantelle expresses herself with her issues with reaction channels, I actually sympathize with the idea that it's incredibly hard to hear so much criticism from so many sources on so much of your video content. I understand why she has a problem with that. Yeah, from a logical point of view, I understand how that's hard to deal with. But the way she expresses herself and the action she chooses to take, they lack a certain amount of awareness. Let's put it that way. Because she, she gets very angry. She leads with her emotions. And I understand the source of the anger, but not the actions that follow it. And I'll get more into that in the video. Um, what she says here does relate to most of what she's been saying for the last few days. So it's as good as any to do. Uh, let's get into the video and then we'll get into it a bit more. Oh, during this video, you may see me occasionally crop in a comment if she's uh, referring to it and it's not entirely clear or I just feel it relevant to what's going on right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go in and crop all the comments from the live chat at this point, but I'll do my best with it. If I see something I feel is relevant, I may put it up if, it, if it's not easily understood from what she's saying. I <laughs> love how often you go live. Hi, Gorb Summer, yeah. Murphy Pot. She's been going live a lot. Oh my goodness, she's been going live a lot. And it's easier content to do. Like, if you just go live and you upload it, I am I've just been really busy lately and I just, like, With what? haven't really been in the. been really able to make videos. Tim Roddy, the beeswalk is open for She's not too busy to <laughs> so, like, pop off online. Live streams are still a way to connect with you guys, but. Hi, Sam. But not put as much effort into it. I don't have to it. do editing or any planning. I just come on here and talk. Of course, Emma. No life. What else is new? Ooh. What's that? I have some things. Nice. Fresh veggies from the garden. My uncle's garden. Nice. Green pepper, tomato, cucumbers. Those are lovely. Yes. I envy anybody who can grow things. I have a black thumb. Like, in the UK, things grow pretty easily. They can get waterlogged because we rain a lot, but it's a green country. We have a very benign 
um, climate, we have a lot of rain, it lends itself to growth. I kill everything I touch. <laughs> I've got a few plants just over the way. They're not looking the healthiest, but I've got a few plants indoors, but oh, this is a harsh country on plants and I do not help the situation. And I have... I would love to be able sweet to grow. Sweet he made. See, no, that no, looks no, cool. No, grow, no, jar, no. can stuff. Don't stand in front of my camera. I love that. And fresh salsa. Oh, nice. Yes. I don't care if she's not amused. I don't give a shit. She's telling it. Like, I knew that she would do that. She's playing the race card now. So people are coming over here. She's manipulating her audience, saying things like, I'm just going to turn the light on. Saying things like, I'm racist. Excuse me. This is in response, for those of you who didn't get a chance to see the live before it was taken down, uh, her rant. She called Charlie Gold, Charlie Cole. And this will become relevant later. Um, I would say, whatever her intentions were, and we are going to go into more details here in a little bit. It is not an enormous cognitive leap for you to understand that referring to a black woman with the use of a dirty black rock is going to have racist connotations. It's going to be read in a racist fashion. I don't think she should be so shocked as to the response this got, uh, this got and saying, oh, she's playing the race card. Honey, honey, honey. No, 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 no. There were very clear connections to racism here. Maybe you didn't intend it, and we'll get into it, but it doesn't take a huge amount of thought to see that. Making fun of somebody just because, like, for other reasons, just because they happen to be black is not racism. Okay, excuse me. Cole you know what I mean? Cole kind of is. Charlie though. Cole. I knew, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't say that. Because Cole is, like, the like least valuable thing compared to gold, and she's Charlie. No. <laughs> Okay, there is some bullshit going on in the comments at some point here saying, um, oh, but coal is a valuable resource. No, no I'm, I'm sure. When she referred to her as coal, I'm sure she meant that she's a valuable resource. I'm sure that's what she meant. Thank you. Uh, but <laughs> first, coal is not the opposite of gold. I think she's getting confused in her head thinking of coal and diamonds. If it was Charlie Diamond, you could say Charlie Coal because coal goes under pressure becomes diamonds. All right, I can see kind of that in her head converting, and I think that's where she was going with it. She was picking some other rock that we value less. But really, really? Your channel does not exist in a vacuum of this moment. And this is a conversation you've had to have before with the community as a whole in terms of how you refer to Charlie Gold, how you speak of Charlie Gold, how you support some channels that have been extremely racist in the past. So if this was a case of, I was ignorant for a moment, but she's saying she thought about it and then decided to do it anyway. I was ignorant for a moment. And now upon reflection, I feel the need to explain that this wasn't intended as an overtly racist thing. I can actually believe that she wasn't sitting here thinking, oh, I'm going to insult her because she's black. However, having then thought about it, the answer would be to not, to go like, oh, wait. And then you don't, <laughs> yeah? You've had to have this conversation before. Ignorance cannot be your excuse when it's happened multiple times. Really gold. So coal is a mineral that just happens to be the color black. It has nothing to do with, her. it's not the context of racism. Like, okay. But doubling down on it is a casual form of racism. Justifying it as, okay, this is what I meant, which I can see. I can see her in her rage making the mistake of thinking coal diamonds versus um, coal gold. And just, it's like saying bronze, silver, gold. And you'd be like, no, no, gold, really, no. And trying to do a, a low value opposite, which is obviously the point she's making. But having had it pointed out, the more casual part of this racism is to then just go with it. And you're like, well, well, no, no, no. Again, this isn't a big leap. What's that old Buffy episode? I took a small step and their conclusions were. I didn't jump, I took a small step and their conclusions were. 
it wasn't hard to see how this was going to be taken. And the fact that you flung it out in anger and are now like, well, clearly I didn't mean that. Well, the fact that you, you didn't think that through and you didn't see that immediately is also a problem. It may not be intentionally overtly racist, but it's also problematic because now you do have time to think about it and this is your response. I don't know how people can't figure that out. Oh, like, it's not I mean, us, honey. Put it that way. How they would see that, but mm. okay. Thank you. I can understand, but I'm Victoria, not gonna change my tone at all. But of course, she's gonna go and be like, she's so racist. It's the only thing she can use. You know, like she can, like let's put this back in a cunt. No, no, no. Let's before we do that. It's not the only thing she can use. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not a stand for Charlie God. I'm not. And. Y- usually i don't think chantal generally is racist or should the better word be is deliberately racist in her day-to-day life i think she did have issues last year where she was connected with someone who was and she didn't speak out against it and that is the um that is the issue that frequently gets up where you say well silence is as damaging as as speaking you know Um, silence is as damaging as partaking in a lot of ways and she sort of embodied that for a while there's a lot going on here that having maybe misspoke or having this go away that maybe she didn't intend there's there's no real correction for it and just doubling down on it and then being like i can't see why people don't understand where the implication is clearly it's other people's problem and other people's sensitivities you don't get to do that. And I realize people argue about race cards all the time, but hey, as white women, there are things we can't say that, that black women can say because they are part of the community that gets, um, gets this kind of speech thrown towards them so often. Whether you think that's fair or whether you don't, it doesn't change the fact that the rules are different between a black woman and a white woman ability to speak on the topic. That's it's classic not a race narcissistic card. bullying behavior. Oh, it takes one to know one. She'll though. bully and make fun of me in every single video, all day, every day. I haven't seen Charlie's channel recently, but I think all day, every day is an overstatement. However, I do think Charlie's behavior frequently does fall into bullying and not into feedback. I think it's a danger we all have as reaction channels. I think me as a reactor, I try and be a bit more balanced, but even I'm guilty of it sometimes. Sometimes I say things and they go back in the video and I'm like, ah, that was harsh. (laughs) I generally try to be more balanced, but we're all guilty of it to an extent. And it's up to us to try and stay more balanced. And they have such a long history. They have such a slap fight is the word I was thinking. Like they've had such a slap fight for what, gone on a year now, they just keep at each other. And they're at the point where it doesn't actually matter who started it or who didn't, so much has been done. In that sense, the way they call each other's names, they're both as bad as each other. So I don't, I don't see this as an argument to say, well, all day, every day. I'm like, mm, no, but you, you've done some equally heinous things. And this is not the first time she spoke out on Charlie Gold. It's not the first time this week. And she's done whole videos that she's then deleted on it as well. It's not that she doesn't have a point that reaction channels are difficult to deal with because we do pick at her life and we do go in and say, well, look at this and look at this because we find it interesting. So I get why she's very thin skinned in general, but I get why it bothers her. I'm not stupid. I get why it bothers her. And I understand that Charlie is very, very blunt in her thinking and her language sometimes does get down in the mud. So I get why she doesn't like it. I get why Charlie doesn't like her, but you can't sit here and blame someone for doing something when you're engaging in the same behaviors. And that's really what drove me to make this video and why I have a problem with it from Foodie Beauty's perspective. It's not that she doesn't have the right to do this. I say, people slap her, you slap them back. The internet allows for that. You're an adult, you don't like it, give them a slap. 
but verbally, not physically. Do not like, oh, she said go down and slap her. No, no, I didn't. But we get to have an opinion. She gets to have an opinion back. I will fight for that all my days. Like, I have no problem with you having a problem with it. Does that make sense? But you don't get to say she calls me names and then heart comments calling her a gorilla. And actually, in this live, there is someone saying in capital letters, she looks like a gorilla. And you don't get to go on rants like you did in your car and then turn around and say, but it's not fair you engage in this behavior and we will get to that later. And then when I defend myself, she tries to make, she wants that. She wants me to look bad. She wants me to explode so that she can turn it around on me and make me look bad, you know? Like this has always been so personal for her and yeah, it's become like that for me lately. I mean, I'm glad she recognizes that because it's not even lately. When was that rant she did in a car? She called it Charlie Gold rant. I don't think it's up on her channel anymore, but it was a while back. This has been going on for a while. And my question is here is if you know exactly what's going on, if you know that she's looking for the reaction, then why are you giving it to her? I'm not saying you have to swallow everything you're given. You don't. But in terms of what you get out of it, in terms of what people see of you during it, and in terms of what it gets you, you would do much better not to give her this ammunition. Now, you don't have to ignore it. It's not, if we're saying, okay, she's being bullied, as much as I think her behavior is the same, I think they're both in some ways like that, um, then not reacting to it is gonna be so much more powerful. And she, she can never do that, that's a problem. To the point, I'm pretty sure, I'm like, I checked the email, pretty sure it's her. And it was nasty and threatening. But yeah. people don't see that. They come over here, call me racist, whatever. That's not what we don't see. I think there are people who are eager to throw the racism card at her. Um, I don't think Charlie Cole is particularly helping you in that point. And I think you did that to yourself if you're going to paint the target on, my darling. But it's not that we don't see it. You come running over here. Like, you, you brought us to this point. And that email... If you want to use that email as an excuse for the kind of language you used in your deleted live, then we need to see that receipt. Because throughout that live, you were getting super angry at her for what she supposedly said, while simultaneously saying, I don't think it's her. And then you're continuing that with no proof that it's her because you won't show the email. You don't have to show the information in the email. There is something in, um, not piracy and copyright. This was a while ago, I might be misquoting this. When we were talking about product and the kind of, the stealing of product images or the designing of products that look a lot like brand names, but aren't like dupes, copycats, that kind of thing. And the phrase that got used was, would it, I think it was an idiot in a hurry. When did, when did I hear this? I think I also heard it on a TV show once. But um, would, would it be convincing to an idiot in a hurry? Yeah. And I think of that when I think of this email address. Does it have an extra dot in it? Is it from her video, her video email addresses, which she has stacked under her videos? Or is it from a different email provider? Is it using the same name, but in a slightly different way? Does it have an extra X? Does it have a slightly different spelling? Does it have a dash or a, you know, like a hyphen or a full stop somewhere? If it's convincing because you were angry, you glanced at it, you saw the name, it's easy to disprove or to prove if you show us the address it came from. But she's provided no receipts for this. And that is a big issue. If you're going to make these accusations and you're gonna rant for this long, you need receipts and you're not providing them. And you don't need to show your mom's address and that, but you need to show us what you're ranting about. Rules don't apply to her. Rules don't apply. The same rules don't apply for the narcissistic person doing the, the damage. There is an enormous lack of self-awareness in that statement. So when I say Charlie Cole, it's because it's not, you, she's not worthy to be called Charlie Gold. It's Charlie Cole because that's, you know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with the color. Like, 
I believe that that's what she intended with that statement. I think it was a stupid statement to make. I can't believe that she was genuinely so blind to the connotations <laughs> that she said it, but that shows again her lack of awareness in a lot of things. But I don't think she can say, oh, I thought about it and I did it anyway because I was intending this. Like, you knew what it could be taken as. Obviously, I'm not a racist person. Come on now. I wouldn't say obviously. Come on now. Come on now. I, no, come on now. Obviously? Obviously? Not obviously. You liking black men doesn't make you obviously not a racist when you're throwing accusations at other people. I think, like, okay, there's no way. None of my problems with her have anything to do with the color of her skin, her race, anything. I actually believe she believes that. Like I said, I do think what she intended with that phrase was misinterpreted. Um, however, I, God, it was a stupid thing to say. <laughs> God, it was a stupid thing to say. But she does have a lot of problems with Charlie Gold that are nothing to do with the color of her skin. I've heard her and that other one, oh, Charlie Gold wannabe, Life of a Free Spirit, say pretty racist things. Again, I don't watch either of their channels, but as a white woman, <laughs> neither of us get to say a black woman is being racist. <laughs> Uh, depending on what she said, obviously, but there are phrases, there are things that you can say if you're part of a community versus if you're not part of a community. If she's going to give some examples, maybe someone down below can chime in on what she's talking about because I don't know. But it's a very, very difficult line for either of us as white people to define. So I'd be very careful standing there going, well, they're racist. And I'm like, um, bitch, really? Be very, very careful. So I'm gonna show you my sensi, but um, sensi is an There's alarm. no way. There's absolutely no way. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I knew she would do that. She did that to the gaining ground, and uh, oh good, the she, gaining uh, ground. I shouldn't even bring him up because he's not really involved in it anymore. Yeah. But they're they're still harassing him. Like she threatened him. That's why I think the emails from her. She she threatened him with his. How about instead of saying, because of the content I think it's from her, you look at the evidence of if it's from her or not. I think it's 100% from a troll. But you said you were going to splash that email out and you were going to show everybody and you couldn't because you were in your car on your phone. Like, if you're making these accusations, show some goddamn proof. Because you're, you are talking big right here. Personal information to docs. He's been doxxed. She deleted, you, you make fun of me for deleting my community posts? Where are all hers about gaining ground? They're gone. I have no idea. I didn't really get into the but drama. Yeah. I saw it happening, I was like, mm. The rules don't apply. I, I, it's slightly hypocritical. That was an issue I did have when all this was going down. Like, I have problems with the fact that Charlie Gold didn't weigh in. I think that's fair to say. I think if you're gonna make comments and you say, I'm gonna weigh in and then you don't, that's an issue. But that's also why I don't tend to get into this because it makes it sound like I've got an issue with her as a person. Let's have a fight and the internet can turn it into that, which is why I try and be careful usually. I think there it, I understand why she has certain issues with certain aspects of Charlie Gold's behavior. But if you're engaging in the same behavior, you don't get to throw stones about it. That's ultimately where I lie with this. Oh, well, you complain that I delete community posts, but you deleted the community post. I'm like, yeah, and? Are you saying I shouldn't, in which case you shouldn't? Or is it fine, in which case you're fine? They only apply to me. No. So. This face. That's literally not true? What's not true? What's not true? I'll wait. I'll wait. Spoiler That's not alert. true. She does not wait. Tell me where I was racist. Charlie Cole. Charlie Cole is where you were racist. If you want to go further back in your history, your connection with the Fatty Gold account didn't look particularly great on you. Um, the, there are other examples, but like I say, I don't have enough history with the Charlie Gold argument. I know the highlights. But you go back, there's some stuff that isn't a great look on you. No, it's, no, it's not Poison Ivy. I missed, I don't know if one of the mods blocked 
um, poison ivy at this point. I saw a lot of reactions saying you done poison ivy, but I didn't see what the initial comment was. It's not the same at all. So if I say her heart is as black as as tar because she has a black heart, does that make it racist? It makes it insulting. I don't I don't see that example as a good example for your argument. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Coal happens to be black, but that was not the context in which it was used. Like, but it was an obvious like, connotation. Coal is like the opposite. It's like the lowest thing compared to gold. No, again, diamonds and coal. She's getting confused, but no. They are reaching, that's the problem. That's what she wants to do. She's manipulating her audience to play victim using the race card. So, and I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about drama, but I am, so I changed yeah. my mind. If you don't like it, then don't watch me. Oh, honey. If anything, I'm going to watch you more for this. Don't even. Don't watch you. I watch your disgusting TMI stories 90% of the time. <laughs> you think I'm not going to watch this? This just makes it more hilarious when you go onto the community tab and you've got heart, heart, heart. Guys, I'm going to focus on positivity on my channel. This makes it hilarious. Of course I'm going to watch this. What are you thinking? Don't watch. No, thank you. I'm that's... just saying, like, I have a right to defend myself. I think that's true. I've thought more about it. I wish I kept my video up, but I deleted it. I wish I kept it up, but... It's on Kiwi Farms. I downloaded it. Would you like a copy? I can send it to you. I don't mind doing that. I'll put it up onto, like, a OneDrive or something. I'm sure we can figure something out if you feel that strongly. <laughs> I deleted it. I wish I kept it up. So there's absolutely no reflection on behavior here. And don't like, don't watch, she goes back to this. She goes back to it and goes back to it. No, once it's up, we don't have to only like it. We don't have to ignore it. Just like you don't have to. I think your life would be better. I think you'd catch less flack. I think that you, you'd rage less if you had a thicker skin. But do you have to have one? No. Can you absolutely defend yourself? Can you throw stuff back? Can you continue this slap fight? Yeah, you can, and I'm here for it. But to say either of you are justified is quite the stretch. Uh, you wanna do it, do it. But neither of you are better or worse than the other. None of us, you all reactors, are better or worse than the other. We all do what we do and we all get to do it. No, I don't actually. My live stream last night, I stand by everything I said except for going low like her, like she wants to do. That was everything you said. You went low like her and you went low hard. Honey, that was everything you said. She's baiting me. Any insult I say about her, any insult you say about Charlie, she uses it as being racist. And yet you're here. And yet you keep doing this. And yet... You know it, but you never learn. If she, you say she's baiting you, no. She didn't bait you, some random internet troll that you believe was her, but you don't really believe because you keep going back and forth and it baited you. And my God, you took the bait. Like, you don't even have proof that it's her and you won't show us the proof so we can see if it's her or not. Because I'm sorry, I don't think you've looked too closely. I understand that, yeah, you can see it that way, the coal thing, but yes. honestly, that didn't even enter my mind until like, now. No, that's a lie. It, it did enter your mind because not five minutes ago, you said you thought, oh, should I do this? I'm going to do this anyway. You go back five minutes in her time in this video, I've been going on a bit. Like, you just said you considered it and you put it up. Now that you're saying it. So I see that, but that's not the context in which I used it. I'm not. I believe you, that's but that doesn't not. help. Why would I? I believe you, but that doesn't help what it actually sounded like. Say something so overtly racist like that. That's not. No. I'll just stick to the casual racism of the unintended and not back down from it. That is equally problematic. That wasn't my intention. So. But okay, you're not let's sorry. Call her Charlie Copper then. I don't know. There's a brilliant, there is a brilliant um, comment here saying Charlie Copper, or just not call her names. That doesn't occur to Chantal at all. While she's complaining about the name calling, or just not call her names.
<laughs> There's an option. If you're going to like get on a high horse about it, your behavior has to be higher. I'm not saying you, you deserve the names you get thrown. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve the names you throw back. I'm saying be aware of what you're doing. She wants to keep this drama going because that's all her content is, drama. That's all now. Is. You don't have anything else to do. As you sit here unwrapping your sensi, having done X amount of lives, ranting about her, and the last two months of your content is food, I think it's a pretty low bar to be slapping a whip, you know? Like, yeah, she reacts, and absolutely. The argument that, okay, our channels would not accept, exist without hers is a correct one. You're absolutely right. We're reacting to your behavior, and I wouldn't have a channel if I didn't react to your behavior because I'm a reaction channel. That's true. I'm not arguing that. But to say she wants to keep this drama alive, she didn't start this drama. She didn't send you the sodding email. <laughs> You started this when you believed a troll because you didn't check it hard enough. I am convinced of that. But if you want to show us proof of the email, I am more than willing to look at that and reconsider. Then, and she has some like mad hate for me if she's threatening my family and everything else. But she did it. Girl, the troll did. Ain't that serious? The troll did. You know, not <laughs> her. But whatever. Oh, oh yeah, oh, okay. So I got this Scentsy burner. So this says dream big, and I'm guessing it lights up when you put the... Oh, it's a wax melt thing. This and it... When she said Scentsy, I was thinking candles. I do like a full candle, you guys. I do. I kind of wish she'd talk more about this. I believe Scentsy is an MLM, so I wouldn't support them generally. But around autumn, I do like an autumn scented candle. There you go. It's and pretty. like, I don't agree with everything that's said about Charlie. I, I don't look all around the internet. You have the right to defend yourself. Ooh, I have some doubts coming Bloody in for whatever yeah. a sentence is going to finish with. She does have the right to defend herself. She does. I'm not yeah, arguing that's what I'm that. Saying, like she's just going to keep using it because that's all she can do with her channel. And like, um, I don't look around uh, all around the internet of what people are saying about her. So, you know, if just about yourself. <laughs> and I'm sorry, she probably does. She is notorious for seeking out the criticism that she complains about. Yeah, she can't help herself because what people think of her online really grinds her gears and so she does seek it out and she never takes her own advice of don't like, don't watch. If I, like, I don't know what people are saying. I don't have Twitter. I don't watch a lot of the videos, reaction videos about her. I watched, I have watched some, yeah. but it's, I don't. Uh, to deny I, it completely, I don't watch but them she all. Didn't. I don't watch nearly even probably a quarter of what's out there. A quarter of what's out there is still a lot. Like, I watch DC Media Girls Lives. She was very kind about my channel and then I like the community, so I go in and I share. Um, I watch Mike, Mike's Thoughts. I watch Robin the Explorer. And I get clips of everybody. I used to watch Zachary Michaels and now he's gone away from those types of reactions. And everything else I kind of get from the peripheral. I get um, clips here and there. I get someone reference it and I chase it up. So my reaction scope is not very large. Yeah, because mostly I'm just like, yeah, whatever. And I, and I, and I do it. <laughs> so in terms of reaction channels, I don't watch very many. But she watches a few. The way she acts, the way she changes her behavior, the way she'll insert a shot of her exercise ball when Kiwi Farms mentions, where have we seen that? Oh, I go on Kiwi Farms as well. That's the other thing I do. So it's to say that, oh no, I, I don't follow these people. You know too much to not be at least checking in. You know, so for people saying you support a racist person, well, the videos I watched didn't have any racism in them. I don't see what they say on Twitter. So how the hell, I don't have a Twitter account. So how the hell am I supposed to know? There is something to be said for the fact that you don't always know. Your followers sometimes, like, I don't go in and check everybody's channel. I don't, I couldn't possibly. And like I said, I prefer to keep my, my links within the community small because it just, it's less drama that way I find. But you don't always go in and check everything. But correct me if I'm wrong, and please do correct me if I'm wrong because I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure, particularly with the Fatty Gold account, she was hearting comments that were pretty racist. It, it's my understanding of the situation. So, and that that channel was overtly 
very racist and homophobic and things like that. Um, so yes, I don't think you should, you not should know, but would have the ability to know the ins and out of every follower you have. But I think in the cases that people most cite, it was very clear what you were doing. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, so how am I supposed to verify that melody? Like it's said from her email, the email is the same as on her videos. Is it? Please show that. Prove it. That straight up, please prove it. Because if you put up that email, cover up the sensitive information, but if you put up that email and it's from her, that is very, very good for you. Because it shows her doing something that you can be legitimately angry about. It shows her making threats. I think if that were true, you'd be showing us the email. Because let's not forget, in your deleted car live stream, you did say, because you're nice, you had messaged her on Instagram to tell her you were striking her channel. And at the end of this video, which we're probably not gonna to get to, she does confirm that she struck her channel. It's killing me, it's killing me. Like if you had proof that it was her, if you could be sure, if the email showed that, if the email address matches exactly, you would be showing it and you're not. And either you are really missing a trick or you don't have that kind of evidence but I am very doubtful until I see a receipt. So what else am I supposed to think? And then whenever I do put two and two together, what she did to gaining, gaining ground, threatened him to dox him with his information, same thing. So just show us proof, we'll help you out. This, what am I supposed to do? You're meant to check your fucking facts. That's what you're supposed to do. And I realize this is a bit rich as I say, wait, I haven't really watched X, Y, Z. Yeah, yep, yeah, you can call me out on the hypocrisy. It's fine, I get it but checking an email address to make sure it's right. If it were right, she'd be proving it. She deny it? Did she deny it in her live stream? She Why did. do people ask her? She also denied it on Twitter. She was like, seriously? And I believe it. Not because I particularly believe in Charlie Gold as a saint, but because of two reasons. If you're not gonna believe she's a good person, which is completely valid for you, that is your opinion, you don't have to, and given her history, she definitely doesn't have to believe she's a good person. Believe in the practical issue of she can make a lot more money out of that by doing a video. If she wants to come off as better than you, which I would argue she, she does want to do that, if she wants to show, let's say, that she's better than you, she wouldn't give you the kind of ammunition that you're going back and forth on whether it's her about. But this email would be a stupid move because it would give you a lot to work with. And she wouldn't do that. She would either straight up make a video based on your Instagram and be like, hey, she's threatening to cite my channel and earn some money in it. Or she'd leave it alone and ignore you. <laughs> you know, like it doesn't make sense for that email to be genuine at all. It just gives more ammunition where you don't need to give it. Which... Does she deny it? Yeah. What does she say? On multiple platforms. How do you track the IP? I'll do it. You know what I mean? Hi, Matthew. Yeah, we know what you mean. Did she you know what you mean? It. Okay. Yeah, she did. Well, whatever. I didn't threaten her. I just said it. Oh! Plus, I have a... Bitch! You didn't threaten... Oh. oh, my God. I need water. Enjoy the next few clips for me. She's full of shit, I'm telling you. I know a criminal when I see one. She's mad that I'm that you you you're such a dumb bitch Charlie. You can talk about me in your video. She's like, "You know that just makes me want to do more reactions, right?" We'll get ready for more strikes. I'll send your email right to YouTube. Anyway, and that at the end, I don't know if it's her cuz it's too stupid. Like who would sign their email, "Charlie fucking gold bitch?" Like it can't be her. She's not that pathetic. It can't be her. Is she? You're an idiot. And you're going down. I don't care. There's forums that dox me all day, any day. Anyways, fuck, go ahead. See what happens to you. You'll be going right back to the slammer where you belong. And another mugshot will be circulating. Seriously, you don't want to fuck with me. I never would do that to somebody because I'm angry at them. Dox their parents. I'm sure I could find your parents. Dox my mom and see what happens. I never 
would do that to somebody because I'm angry at them. Dox their parents. I bet you I could find your family online too. There's people who don't like you. I'm sure they'll give me information. I'm sure of it. Stay away from my fucking family because I swear to God, I'll come for you myself. I will. And I'll roll, run you over with my fucking 5XL walker so fast, you're, you won't know what hit you. you will, your head will be spinning. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I exercise when I have to, bitch. While you're at it, eat a dick. So, you're going down. Idiot. Criminal idiot. Or whoever sent it is a criminal idiot. Just makes me want to even work harder to get the... She's... she. I don't know what she... She's going to be in jail. That's where she's going to be. You don't uh, threaten people. And to dox, that's illegal. So, if that is her email, I'm... I'm definitely going to the police about it. I don't threaten people, you know? That's not my thing. You're back? I didn't threaten, excuse you. I know a lot of people go back to uh, when she was insulting on whenever the other rant was. Like, they go back historically. When Chantel says, I don't bully. And then you go back to that clip of that guy she was insulting as his face looking like it was done by Wasps about him having a small dick and her being thick and him not being able to handle it. They go back to that. And it was incredibly unpleasant, but it was a long time ago. The argument of, of how long are you going to hold me accountable for behavior that I have addressed and changed is a valid argument if you address and change it, saying, okay, I, I recognize that that was unacceptable and I've tried to move on and be better. There is an argument for that, but that's not what she's doing here. Those clips are from a mere day or so ago. And she's deleted them because she won't even stand by them. So either be ashamed enough to delete it and recognize that it's not okay or stand by it and face the consequences. Other reasons to be pissed off at her other than that anyways. You do, you know? but it doesn't change the fact that you did very much threaten her. You threatened to go to the police with this piece of evidence that we still have not seen. You threatened to run her down with your walker. You said you were coming for her. But no, 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 let's not keep it on channel. Uh, I believe someone in my comments the other day said, you're the master of throwing stones and hiding hands. This is a perfect example of both. Like, you want to get down in the mud, get down in the mud. You've both got reason. So, so this, oh, no, I'm well, better well, than that. Why don't you just not watch? No, you're not. I don't know. Because you put it out in the public and so people get to like it or to hate it or to watch it as they like. That's why. That's why people watch. Because you're fun to watch. Maybe not in the way you intend to be sometimes. But this, this invokes a reaction. Not just in the sense of the channel, but I watch you because I feel a connection with you and your thought patterns with eating. I think we have very similar thought patterns when it comes to food and our behaviors around food. That's what keeps me coming back, despite not liking the content sometimes, but despite the content making me frustrated or making me sad. I am invested in that part of her brain and how she shows it in different ways. I'm not here for the mukbangs. Like, she does mukbangs, and that's a reflection of a lot of the stuff going on with her. But that's a reason I don't react to other mukbangers. Um, but when she says, well, why do you watch? Because you provide this. And you do benefit from that as well. So, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not showing the email because my mother's information is in it. Yeah, cover it up. Don't be a pussy. Cover it up. Yeah, and I don't mean scribble it out so it can be found again out of the great, the gaining ground. I know that was a huge part of the arguments going on there that people went in. People will go in and get information if it's available. Yeah, that's what happens with doxing as well. If you hack private information, that's not okay. I mean, doxing is not okay anyway. But a lot of the doxing that happens on like Kiwi Farms or whatever, it's because information has been gotten from a public source. So, for example, when Amber Lynn's new address was doxxed, they got it from Becky's vote, uh, voting record, which is a matter of public record. Um, the fact that she was registered to vote at the new place. 
So I don't agree with doxing, I don't. But you do also have to be careful of the information you allow to be online. And there is a certain amount of due diligence in that. So there is a line between how you got the personal information that you're sharing in terms of the legality, illegality of it. But it's just, she doesn't show an understanding. And what would it matter? It doesn't say if it's from her. It's just the body of the email. I told you what it said. I told you what it said. So we'll just take your word for it. Yeah? Make these accusations, make these rants, threaten people. And we'll just take your word for it. We don't need proof. Now, if this was turned around and Charlie was saying, I received an email from Foodie Beauty, you would not accept that without proof. So why would we do it for you? So I told you what it said. So I said, if you're going to show my information, like if you say that, and you know what? I don't even want to talk about it. Here I am talking. I don't want to talk about it because her brain can't process a logical answer to that. She's trying to defend it and she'd realized that she can't defend it. About it again. This is what they want. They have no other life. Like for three years that I've been on YouTube, that's what they do. They make up shit. They talk shit and that's all they do. If you want to think- I don't make shit up. <laughs> I use the evidence you pr present me. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. I, given that you're using an email that you yourself is, have admitted multiple times could be false and now are bringing in and saying, no, look, I have the email, but I won't prove it. I'd be very careful where you throw accusations of, of making things up. I think I'm racist. I don't, here's what I'm final going to say, and then I'm going to move on. To it's my not going to be fine. If you want to think I'm racist, I don't give a fuck. Think what you want. Do what you want. Okay. Have fun. Okay. I don't care. Okay. Then I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to think what I want because you're offering no evidence against it. And I'm going to enjoy making reactions because that's what I want to do and you don't care. For the record, I don't think this is the face or the rant or the, what, three days of ranting now of someone who doesn't give a fuck. I think you give many, many, many fucks. I think we're up to our ears in fucks. But if you're saying do what you want, honey, thank you very much for your permission. I'd have done it anyway, but I'm going to keep doing what I want. Because again, that is another great example of what you're saying and what you intend to say as being different things. But ultimately, what you say is the important thing. I don't care if you're talking crap about me. Great, good. I already have the advantage that I don't have to resort to that crap, like I said. Do we need to watch the video again? You resort to that crap a lot. We have had many a community rant. We have had many a video. You don't have the balls to stick by what you're saying. That is the difference. You know, to make it on YouTube, you have to have my name in your mouth every video to get views. Eh, maybe. Maybe I'll switch to reacting to someone else one day and it'll turn out my views will go into the toilet. Maybe at that point I'll have enough of following and it'll be fine. At the moment, I'm interested in you. I'm interested in how you live. You've put it out there for people to watch and I react to it. Yes, my channel grows because you are a popular subject. I don't have a problem with that. Your name has to be in my mouth. Maybe, maybe it does. I know that when Charlie switched her content, she didn't get as many views. It's not an invalid criticism. It's not an invalid point. Yeah, I don't take it as criticism because I'm, I'm a reaction channel. Of course I'm reacting to you. <laughs> I'm basing it on something. Are you saying, okay, my content's not original? I wouldn't say your content is the best either, but okay, that's fine. I'm reacting to something you've already created. My commentary comes from me and I talk a lot. God, I'm a bitch for it. So I would say I bring original work to my reaction, but you can argue that. That's fine. Just let that sit with you. Have fun. I don't, I don't care. Um, Bye. Bye. So if you're here, I'm so glad you don't care. I can see how hard you don't care. I'm so glad because I was worried. And now, now I'm absolutely fine. Thank you for your permission. For that, go hang out with Charlie because that's what her channel is. I Hate think to. and drama. Like, see ya. I mean, your channel isn't varying so far. You, you cover it in like McDonald's sauce and you two aren't looking that dissimilar. So what do you guys think of my sensing burner? Oh, is that Marissa? 
I love it. Okay, so. Oh, I'm going very red. I'm getting caught up. Anyway. You remember the other day she was talking about the red patches she gets? I get the same when I get like emotional. I get really into what I'm talking about. I overheat and I start getting them. I feel like I'm having an allergic reaction. Guys, let's get to the wax. I have to tell pizza mama. I was all day, I'm so tired. Yeah, so that's gonna go in my room on my new cabinet thing. And then, oh, actually, I don't have edible, but I'm gonna go outside after. I'm gonna charge my phone and come back live. I just wanted to show you. Because today I'm not gonna do a video, but tomorrow I will. Look what I I've have. been doing nothing but lives recently. They're hard to react to, actually. Aurora There's a lot of sipping through. Marissa, have you seen this? I don't have much of an opinion on it other than I saw like the 20 minutes of live she did later. And not only was she so high, holy crap, I'm guessing that makes it a lot stronger, but she was coughing like she was about to die. It's such a terrible idea for her. What it, I mean, does it have the same impact smoke has? It seemed to be really bad. Like go and watch those few minutes she put up. She was hacking when she was out on the balcony and it was really concerning. Please, if you're gonna get high, which isn't the best idea with someone with your food issues, but if you're gonna get high, please stick to edibles because this looks like it's gonna kill you. Yeah, that's a wax burner. I never use one, it's a vape pen. Aurora brand, is that a good brand? No idea. It was a gift. I'm not telling you from who. Oh shit. <laughs> Take that well. All right. So, now that I got my bitchiness out of the way, um, we have a whole month of October of Vlogtober coming up. She's been hinting at this and, um, she doesn't have a great track record of being consistent with anything, including committing to Vlogtober, but I do like autumn themed things and I would like to see her do Vlogtober. I'd like to see her try it. I think it would... It would at least make her try and think of other content in, that's kind of Halloween, autumn themed, and that would be nice to see. But I like it when she goes on these uploading sprees. I'll tell you right now, if by some miracle she does stick with it, there's no way I'm reacting to all of them. I just couldn't do it. But uh, she, I hope she does. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. You know what, see, like, the, I don't even get excited to make videos anymore, honestly, because I know pe like, sh people are just going to leech it right away, so, you know? Just do your content and enjoy it. It gets you views, it gets you money. Talk people talking about you drives more views to your channel. I know you think it isn't true, but it does. Again, like, how much you take in of it is up to you. The internet is the internet. You can switch it off. You can choose not to read the comments. You can choose not to watch the videos. You can practice what you preach in terms of saying, I'm above all this and it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, who the hell are we? Voices on the internet? Switch us off. And like, don't like, don't watch is your big, is your big thing. Now you can watch me and you can hate me. You have that right. You can watch Charlie God, which let's face it, she doesn't know who the fuck I am. But you can watch any reaction channel and you can hate them and you can rant against them, you can rage against them. But the moment it starts affecting you in this way, like I, I'm not excited to make videos anymore, I don't, you know, I, I don't want to do this anymore. Either stop making videos or stop watching that content because you're in control of that. You can do that if you want to. If you choose to keep reacting to them, you can do that as well. But if it's negatively affecting you, you don't need to. Anyways, if you were a content creator, you would know how annoying that is and demoralizing that is to just have somebody upload and mock every creation you do. So I, I am in touch by email with... Um, I will say, I can't speak. I don't see enough of her channel to say. I know she does tend to get quite mocking, but... I'm not here just to mock everything. Like, the eating grosses me out, but you've had content I've enjoyed. Your Time Warp content, your 1920s, I really enjoyed that. The Titanic, like, the, some of the food had issues, but I enjoyed that. YouTube right now about copyright because I don't think, like I said, it's not fair use to... They want me to explain how it's not fair use. And I just said, like, this person literally, like, 
what makes like a couple minutes worth of comments and uploads my entire video. So yeah, that's a revenue loss because people will watch her video and not watch mine. Some people, a lot of people still watch my videos, but do you know what? Some people, but then it opens you up to a wider audience. So there's a certain amount of balance there and how much people comment on your video does change. It, it does um, affect whether it's considered fair use or not. So that will change from reactor to reactor. What I'm saying, when somebody's uploading your entire video, even if they're adding a few snide remarks here and there, that's not transforming your video. That's, yeah, it's harassment and attacking your character. Like, it if, can you, be, if she doesn't stop, on what then I'm doing. just gonna keep going with that. That's not fair use. So. You can keep going, but be ready to take her to court. Because that's, when you say copyright rather than harassment and bullying, that is the difference. Like, copyright is a legal thing. You have to be ready to take her to court. Like, I, you know, like, I'm planning all these, like, vlogs and things for October, and then only to I just have somebody, instead of doing their own fucking content, they steal yours. Do you know what I mean? That's what reactions, they don't steal yours, but they comment on it, yeah. Yeah, and Michael Sweaty Arse, he's another nasty piece of crap. I don't even know why he's talking about me. Like, you don't even know me. And but she doesn't call anyone names, guys. She never does. Although, actually, in this case, there was an account called Michael Sweaty Arse in her comments, so she could have been referring to something she read in there. But again, that's one of those examples of, I, I see this and I agree with you, even if I'm not the one saying it, but don't get pissed off at me because I'm not the one who said it. You know, like the, there is definitely some blurred lines there. I don't even like, who the hell are you? Like stick to your nursing and worry about your life. Like, can you? So when was the last time I, guys, I, I see him not referred to, you know, when they do suggested posts on Twitter, I see his posts come up because other people that I do watch react to him. Like, when was the last time Michael B. Petty did a video on her? Remind me in the comments, because I've got no idea, but I feel like it's been a while. Can you imagine having him as a nurse? Oh my god. Oh. I think if he reacts, it has nothing to do on his ability of whether he can be a nurse or not. I, I think they're separate things. Okay, anyways. I'm just telling you I'm working on it, because this is my video. These are my videos. This, like, I agree with fair use and constructive no, and stuff like no you don't you never have that um but this is just like every single video i upload whenever your channel involves over 95 percent of my content that's not fair use there are videos out there that do just re-up her videos no commentary no whatever like that's not fair use if we're actually giving commentary it is now, how much commentary there are lines there, what kind of commentary in terms of bullying there are lines there. But you, you never agree with fair use, you never um, accept even constructive criticism. And I, I don't think any of us are going to sit here and believe that. And I'm going to fight, trust me. Okay, so fight um, it, but be willing to. And I make pretty to, decent money on YouTube. Yeah, that you then reinvest into plastic trees and food, so where I could afford legal counsel. I don't know if she can, if they can do the same, but I can. You can, but you won't. Let's, let's just be clear here. You are gonna maybe go a bit further, you've struck her, but the thought of actually going through it, you won't. I'm willing to be proven wrong, please show me. But I don't think you're gonna do this, just like you didn't go through it with Zachary Michaels when you struck his channel. So, I thought that like, so like sometimes when I use clips from um, music, let's say, you know, somebody will be like, I'll get an email from YouTube and they'll be like, you can still use the content, but you're gonna get some of the revenue. Um, you're gonna get some of the uh, revenue from it. Can that In music, yeah, if they copyright you, anything you make on that video goes to the copyright owner that not happen like you know what I mean I mean if you argue non-fair usage and it belongs to you yes it can happen I would I would assume but you gotta argue it first anyways okay. I don't actually I haven't looked into the copyright law here but I feel like that's true if I'm wrong like I say let me know below um no I don't want to end the drama channels okay 
So like, let's say like Karina Kaboom, she talks about the drama happening. She'll show screenshots or she'll show snippets. That's different. That is different. I'm, I'm not arguing that, that is different. However, if no one was doing reactions and it was just the drama channel style, I think she'd still have a problem with it. She'd then go into, oh no, well it, it's still bullying. I, the format reactions are taking, when they are reactions, when they're not just re-ups, is not the issue here, I don't think. You know? I think it's how she's and taking she it. And she doesn't insult And she doesn't have to take it well, but I, I think that's the issue. People, she doesn't have to resort to insulting. She can properly review something and offer criticism. You know what I mean? And that's not what's happening with some of these channels. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm going that's for. It's like say. somebody, you know, just playing up stealing content. But she is, I mean, I haven't watched enough of the videos to tell you which part of this line she falls down in. To be completely honest, I don't know how much of her videos do contain a lot of commentary. So I know she tends to comment a little bit less from what I've seen but I don't know where it would land on that line. You would have to consult legal counsel for it, which let's face it, she's not gonna do. So, all right. So become a creator and see how it feels. Having a parasite stuck to you every time you upload something. But she's definitely not calling names, guys. Just, just do it. I'm telling you, it sucks. Okay. I'm sure it does. First day of fall. But first day of fall, I haven't smelt these yet. No, Joe, it's vaping. It's not the same as vaping cigarettes. This is just pure THC. Um, so actually, I think I might be done with everything I wanted to see in her. Like she does go over this again. I'm gonna just check. Taste your words before you spit them out. I don't do that. I'm very impulsive. Yeah. And that's always, I've always been like that. And I don't know how to change it. It just like happens. You know what I mean? Like, not being impulsive requires you to not be impulsive. It's almost an impossible thing. I included this because I fundamentally disagree. I think you have certain, well, I think you need certain emotional coping mechanisms and certain uh, behaviors you need to be trained with. You need to maybe consult a professional about so that you can deal with them in different ways and in less destructive ways and less with less anger attached to them i think you need help with that but to say it's impossible no you just don't know how to do it right now and more to the point you're not willing to learn you're saying well i'm impulsive and that's it and that excuses you because you can rant in your car at 1 a.m and it was impulsivity and you can't expect any different because that's the way i am despite the fact that there are people out there who could help you to not be that way and you refuse to access them because it's not a comfortable process. And that was a really important thing that I wanted to mention. Um, I don't think I have anything else. I'm probably not going on vacation, guys, because- Oh yeah, the I vacation. Go, I told you, it's because she's fat. No, it's not. Well, no, it's not. It's 100% because we might not even be able to go. Like the cases are rising. I want to include this because I've been following the Dominican Republic line. I wanted her to go. I wanted her to use it as an excuse to change her life and have the vacation of a lifetime and she didn't do any of that. Um, she said at the beginning they knew COVID might potentially be an issue and the deal was if they paid it. Like when they paid it off, they would have full credit to go another time if it didn't end up happening. It's completely fair to say, hey, COVID, maybe we can't go but it's not an excuse now if she gave us a solution to that earlier. So I, I think she doesn't wanna go anymore. I think she expected to be somewhere else physically um, before she went and she isn't there and that would make things a lot difficult. All in all, I really do feel it was a waste of an opportunity. She could have used it as such a great goal and even if she didn't see that much difference in the scale, she could have been physically and mentally in a much healthier place. Because remember, like exercise, things like that, the least it does is to lower the number on the scale. There's so, much, there's so many health benefits to your cardiovascular system, which she really needs with her lung problems, that you get from doing exercise. 
that and mentally just losing some however much it was would have put her in a much happier place she would have felt more purposeful she could have enjoyed that trip a lot and she didn't so when she says oh people are going to say because of a weight i kind of am but i don't quite mean it in that way i i recognize that there were lots of elements but it, it's still such a wasted opportunity and i have to have the entire um vacation paid off soon like next month she did mention that as well and um I want to know what happens to the money she's already paid. It was a deposit. Does she lose it? Because at this point, although it's a big balance, she's been wasting a ton of money just recently. And if she's doing Vlogtober, she's going to get decent views in terms of earnings. There's, with how much money she wastes on other things, like how much did her Sensi stuff cost? When you consider purchases like that, I feel like she could have swung it and she doesn't want to go. But it seems like quite a waste of money if she won't get a deposit back. Better to pay it and then keep the credit and be able to use it. But And that's a lot of money to fork out for when you're wasting it on other things, yeah. Not being certain what's gonna what it's gonna be like, you know? Mm -hmm. Um but go another time. Use the credit. I don't think I feel comfortable. Like I don't feel comfortable like going to the DR. I think when I do finally go on vacation, I just don't feel like the time is right, you know? But you don't have to go this time. You can use the credit and go another time. It doesn't linger. I think I'm still going to smoke it on the porch just to see first, you know. But um, I want to probably to be to, to Jamaica like I promised my aunt. So I think my friend will be disappointed. But I think she understands. Um, been friends with... I mean, she's disappointed her friends before where she agrees to do something and doesn't. So her friend might not be surprised. But it's a pretty shitty thing to do if you're planning a big trip and, and although you know there were going to be problems with her going i mean she's caused a lot of disruption with this trip in terms of saying okay well i'm not going to share a room with someone when i'm guessing it was a group rate and so it's a lot of extra expense and then oh and i'm going to upgrade to first class and she didn't seem well integrated within the group so there were going to be problems whether she went or whether she didn't but still, I, d I don't think it's a nice thing to go, oh no, I'll go, and then not. For a long time, but what I think I'll do is just like, um, do something special with her, just her and I. I don't think that'll end up happening. I just, I feel kind of really nervous about planes too. Like I have this like new fear of planes, just seeing so much in the news about plane it's crashes. A lot of excuses. And, like, you would go on a plane to Jamaica, how is it different? the dr being dangerous for tourists i don't know okay. this is a lot of excuses and we you know we are where we are with it whatever her reasons are really i think if she had been successful in the weight loss uh journey she was planning on going on before her her physical journey um to the dr i think we wouldn't be having this conversation so she'd be paying it off and if it ended up being put off it'd be put off so but there's, there's no point getting further into that Okay, I think I'm done. She says a couple of other things. I made some notes, but um, at one point she says everything she accuses me of, uh, of doing, she does the same or worse, which I was like, oh, the lack of self-awareness there is insane. And then at the very end of the video, she said, I don't name people when she's repeatedly said Charlie Gold. She does sometimes say, who the fuck is that? Or she'll just say, oh, the, the woman with kids. But she has named both Yaba and Charlie before this. So again, it's something she said she doesn't do that she does. Uh, so that's, that's as much as I'm going to react to with this. I know this has been hugely longer than I intended it to be. Um, I don't mind her kicking back. I don't mind her kicking back at any of the other reactions. We say what we want and she says what she wants. I have a problem when she claims she doesn't do that. When she tries to take the moral high ground. When she's repeating the behaviours to do it. I completely understand why she has problems with all of us. I'm sure it's very hard to take the, uh, the public opinions and the very loud opinions of channels that are dedicated to following her. I can't imagine it's an easy position to be in. However, she did put herself in that position and she could take herself out of it at any point. So with how long she's been on YouTube and with the behavior she chooses to exhibit on YouTube, both in her videos and in her behavior with these interactions, she should be very careful about some of the accusations she's making. And that's my view on it. Okay, everybody, you're free to agree or disagree below. Thank you so much for your time. 
I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, thumbs it up. If you haven't, thumbs it down. It's up to you. We all get to have an opinion. I'll see you again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.